just quickly stopped here is Salt Air out by the Great Salt Lake in Utah. That's Antelope Island there in the background. And behind that off in the distance, one of those I believe is Promontory Point. And this is where Mr. Taboo Conspiracy, I think his name was, was looking back here towards Salt Air. You'll notice I'm here at the freeway exit. This is exit number 104. Salt Air exit, Highway 202, off of I-80. And even from the road bed here, I want you to notice how this slopes downwards in the parking lot. So Salt Air is pretty much right at, well, a few feet above the lake level, obviously. But it's pretty low. And you look over here at the Kennecott Tower, or Kennecott Stack. And that base of the stack is above the ground level of that building because it's perched on a little ledge behind it. And what I think Mr. Tabu was looking at, what he called salt air, is actually up here. See that semi truck there? Behind that is the retention pond for Kennecott's tailing to dump. And there's a fairly good sized building on top of it. Right there. Now, I think that's what he is seeing from his location up at Promontory. Because that's a pretty tall building actually. And that retention pond wall is a good 100-200 feet. I'm standing, and I am not standing at lake level by any stretch, probably 15 to 20 feet above the lake level or more. So that's my theory. I'm going to drive across the exit there, the overpass above I 80, and I'll show you what that building looks like from below. All right, I'm driving across the overpass here, and I want you to notice. How tall those buildings are next to the Kennecott stack. And remember that none of those are visible in Mr. Taboo Conspiracy's pictures or video that he shot from Promontory Point. Those are big buildings, and the base of the smelter or the base of the stack is up on that black ledge of tailings, or whatever that is. The base of the stack is above that. And that is 30 to 50 feet above the Great Salt Lake. So I'm going to continue on over here to this other building. Okay, I've moved up a little ways on Highway 202 here, and this is my current location just for putting into Google Earth or something so that you can see it. I'm going to step out here and I want to show you what I think Taboo Conspiracy Guy is looking at. I think he is looking at that building up on top of the retention pond. That's roughly in the same line of sight from where he was at. He was looking at it from the narrow side, not the wide side. Whatever he was looking at, it most certainly was not salt air, because salt air, he would have been looking at broadside, and it clearly wasn't. Elevation is 
4,240 feet. And that is 40 feet, 40 to 50 feet of lake level. And I want you to notice how much higher than that the base of the stack is. There's a little bit cut off at the bottom, but not very much. So anyway, regardless, Mr. Taboo's video was not showing any of these structures below the stack that you can see right here. Anyway. There is all of a sudden a lot of traffic on this road, so I'm going to get out of here. Okay, this is just another look at the Kennecott stack. This time at the south end of the overpass where there's not so much traffic noise but I'm looking at the sun so it's a little a little washed out that is the Kennecott stack and you'll notice look at the size of the buildings below the base of the Kennecott stack None of those were visible, or I guess they're not below it, but they're, the stack level is such that none of those were visible in Taboo Conspiracy's video. And if the earth was really flat, they should have been, because those are not small buildings. And remember that those are quite a ways perched up above salt air, which he claimed to see. Salt air sits virtually at the lake shore. So, therefore, he was not seeing any part of salt air, let alone down to the water level. And again, he was not seeing any of these good-sized foreground buildings. He was seeing salt air. Why wasn't he seeing the marina? Which is right over there. Now if he was seeing salt air, why wasn't he seeing that great big rock over there? Which everybody climbs and visits just off the Great Salt Lake Park. top of the overpass. Be right back. Oh, let me just add for accuracy's sake. I am on the railroad overpass. Not the freeway overpass. But there's the marina. Where was all that? everybody climbs. No sign of that.